Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Kajin. <laughs> my life, my journey. Um, yeah, so I'm on my way to do outreach, you guys. It's hot out here. You see, I got my little backpack on today. I got all of my uh, supplies in there. Vagisil, condoms, soap, um, um, deodorant, um, and lotion, and mask. Yeah. So, I'm giving out little kits today that I prepared myself at home, and I hate these bees. Every time I get on video, a fucking bee attacks me. This is bee season, y'all. Damn. Oh, I hate bees. I'm allergic. I will swell up like crazy. So I try to stay away from them. Anyway, yeah, I, um, I've been doing outreach, but also working as well. So it's a lot um, physically on me because I'm by myself. I don't have anyone to help me do it. Um, and a lot of the times I'm in really like um, some rough areas, y'all. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking today that I should probably minimize the amount of days that I do outreach. Because right now, I'm just kind of like winging it. And I will do it four days a week. Sometimes um, three days. Um, I definitely want to keep the weekends. The weekends are great. I like the weekends because that's when you see more people out that need uh, these PPE kits and hygiene kits. Um, however... Um, it's starting to get me a little physically tired. I was only able to get like three and a half hours, maybe four hours of sleep the other night, or last night, or the night before, I should say. And um, I got right back up early that morning to go to work at six o'clock. So, yesterday morning, so it was a lot for my body. Um, just tired, I don't wanna be tired, child. I wanna be energetic, because you know, you gotta be about your wits when you're out here, because you might have to like, you know, <laughs> you might have to windmill a bitch out here, <laughs> but, but anyway, I keep Susie in my purse, honey, at all times, trust me, I don't play, I'm out here, I'm, you know, um, I feel like God's got me, you know, God's going to make sure that I'm going to be okay, but at the same time, I got to be prepared, you know, because you never know what can pop off, anywho, Back to the days. What do y'all think? Do you think I should do maybe like two days a week? Two days a week should be fine, right? That That's more than enough. I think that's more than enough. I really believe that. So I'm thinking two days a week. After today, it's going to be two days a week. Tomorrow, I shall not do anything. Okay. I ain't going to be doing nothing because I'm going to be relaxing in my apartment by myself. Sipping on ice cold lemonade with ice cubes in it listening to regina bell okay oh yeah she's old school y'all don't know nothing about her unless you unless you you know you're a 90s baby but yeah regina bell and um anita baker you know i want to chill tomorrow watch movies on netflix and hulu and my roku Yes, so I'm already starting to watch this story, this show called Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country, I think it is. Yeah, that's what it's called, Lovecraft Country. It's, eh, my opinions of it is, is that it's kind of, eh, eh, whack, It was okay. What's her name is in it, though? Um, Jessie Smollett's sister. She's, she's a star in, the, in that movie, in that show. I don't, I don't. It started off interesting, but it started off racist as hell. It's set because the you know the setting is from way back during um, segregation and all of that, and and and, and yeah. So I, I it was I don't know how I felt about it. And I was like, oh god, another one of those movies, another one of those white men hating the black people, chasing them down like they're animals. Um, with then they got fucking guns. The real animals are the ones with the guns chasing the black folks down those are the real animals um <laughs> back then and i'm thinking why am i watching this this shit is already happening right now today uh, 
I'm, I'm seeing it when I protest. I'm seeing it in the street. It's happening here in New York City. I don't want to watch it on television in a movie. But then the movie started to evolve. And it was interesting because one of the main characters, this guy, and uh, I don't know if he's an active military person or ex-military person, but anyway, he's searching for his father. Um, he's on a mission to father, find his dad, or whatever the case may be. But also, all of this, um, these myth myth mystical? I don't know if they're mystical creatures or they are just monsters, but these monsters started, like, chasing them in the second episode, like, through the woods, and it was crazy. I, and when it got to the monsters, you know what made me not interested, I'm going to be honest? It was when the white officer, <laughs> he was racist as shit, so he deserved what happened to him. However, though, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't, like... I know okay we know monsters aren't real but when you watch a movie you want to you want to get that feeling that it's real like oh my god you know like a real monster is coming like anyway you know what I mean so the monster bit the man's arm I don't know I shouldn't tell y'all but I'm gonna tell you this one scene the man, the monster bit the man's arm off completely off and the man was still holding a rifle holding holding these black people at gunpoint with his rifle how the hell are you scared of the one-armed bandit? This man should be on the ground leaking, dying from blood poured out of him. And I was like, oh no, see y'all not even trying to make it feel like realistic. He should have been in so much pain he couldn't even stand up. But he was standing up, talking, holding the rifle, <laughs> pointing it at them. And then after a while, he ended up turning into one of those monsters that had bit him. So, and then it evolves again and it goes into another, um, um, scene so I don't want to talk about that scene because I haven't really watched it but it looks like they came up so we'll see what happens guys um but like I said I'm on my way and this is the terminal here this is where everything happens the the buses the ferry and see that's where everything is and the mall is right over there but this is the actual this is one of the bus stops so all the buses line up here so I'm going to go ahead and get on one of these and I will talk to y'all later. I love y'all. Bye.